Hello. So what do you got there? I I got this. Oh, is this our book for tonight? Yeah. This is a very good one. So this is The Iridescence of Birds. It's written by Patricia McLaughlin, and it has pictures by Hadley Hooper. And Hadley Hooper is pretty cool. She is a uh, printmaker and artist out of Denver. She does a lot of uh, stuff for Westward, but this is actually a piece that she made in 1997 and completely forgot about it. I bought it in a junk shop three years ago for yeah. 15 American dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I emailed her and she said, yes, indeed, it is mine, but I don't remember making it. So this is Hadley Hooper's illustrated The Iridescence of Birds, a book about Henri Matisse. Can you help me with the pages? Mm-hmm. All right. If you were a boy named Henri Matisse, who lived in a dreary town in northern France where the skies were gray, and the days were cold, and you wanted color and light and sun, and your mother, to brighten your days, painted plates to hang on the walls with pictures of meadows and trees and rivers and birds. And she let you mix the colors of paint, yellow and red, red and blue, blue and yellow, and let you arrange the fruit and flowers she brought from the market. Pears and oranges in a bowl and a tablecloth and flowers in a blue vase. In the town, people wove silks with colors, all tangled, one color next to another, next to another. And your mother put red rugs on the walls of the house, on the dirt parlor floor, so all the world looked red. And you raised pigeons, watching their sharp eyes and red feet and their colors that changed with the light as they moved that your mother called iridescence. Would it be a surprise that you grew up to be a fine painter who painted red rooms and flowers that danced in the green stems and fruit in a bowl on a blue and white tablecloth? Would it be a surprise that you became a fine painter who painted light and movement. This is called the dance. Mommy's seen that in person. It's beautiful and it's big. So there's young Henri and older Henri. And the iridescence of birds. So this is just a big page that talks more about him. So here. My mother loved everything I did. Henri Matisse. Why do painters paint what they do? Do they paint what they see or what they remember? The great painter Henri Matisse's life story may have some answers. Henri Matisse was born in December of 1869 in the far northern Grey Mill town in France. There was little sun and natural light, but Henri grew up with the color and painted plates that his mother bought him from a leaky cottage. She put colorful rugs on the beaten dirt floors and on the walls. His father gave him pigeons, and Henri watched their colors change as they moved. He began to paint as a young man when he was in the hospital and his mother brought him a paint set. I got my sense of color from my mother, he once said. After studying art in Paris, Matisse went on to begin to paint with strong, bright colors and bold forms and patterns. It became his own style, and he was part of a group of painters known as the Fauves, the French name for wild beasts. They painted about their feelings and emotions rather than exactly how things looked. Matisse had great success and influenced the course of modern art. In his old age, he began to work with paper cutouts, but he also worked with pencil or charcoal when he became too ill to paint. He always loved birds, and he kept them his whole life. He had many artist friends, and before he died at age 84 in 1954, he gave his beloved birds to his friend, the artist Pablo Picasso. His paintings, sculptures, and cutouts can be seen in museums all over the world. In writing his, this book, 
I think I found the answer to the question that inspired it. Henri Matisse painted what he saw and what he remembered. He painted his feelings and he painted his childhood. It's from Patricia McLaughlin, the author. You ready to go say goodnight? Good night. Good night.